So I put the key somewhere, no clue where. And with the world how it is right now, everyone's attention spans are like worse than a goldfish apparently. Sit, shake, good boy, down, good boy. and stuff i was gonna vlog today right i started the vlog i was folding laundry in the closet i had the gopro in there i left the gopro in there and forgot about it i think i left it on and i was babysitting and i locked our closet door because the kid that i the one year old i babysit i didn't want him going in there because we have stuff in there that he shouldn't be going through like um some kendrick stuff so I locked the door and it was like a door lock, like an outside door lock. And I thought we had a key for it. And I couldn't, I tried some keys, couldn't find a key that worked for it. So I was locked out. So I didn't have the GoPro to keep filming anything. So the vlog kind of abruptly stopped there for a while. Also, at some point I was looking for my post office key and I couldn't find that either. But I did find it then in the truck. I kind of retraced my steps and was able to figure out where I had last had it, when I had last used it. Normally, the my post office key would be on the same ring as my car key, but my car was in the shop, and so I had to take those keys off of my um, car key and just leave the car key with them. And... So yeah, that's why I kind of like couldn't keep track of it, especially usually it would, yeah. Anyway, usually it'd be a little bit, every, anytime something is abnormal or out of the ordinary, I just lose it. Like I, I have no idea where it is. Anyway, so my car is fixed and it, the radiator had like separated slash eroded or whatever and it had to be completely replaced. So it was like a $600 fix, so it could have been a lot worse. Very thankful that's all it was. Still, ouch, but it needed to be done, obviously, so my car's working great again. I'm pretty sure, I haven't hardly driven it since then, but I'm pretty sure the heat's working too. And I think probably the radiator being like, might have had something to do with it, obviously, probably. Because the fan was running on the heater, but it was actually heating the car. So, anyway. Kendra came home from work, he got back into the closet, and we had actually apparently had a conversation about it like yesterday or something, or not yesterday, a couple days ago. We were like, oh look, we found the key, we found a key that works in the closet, and we're like, cool. And apparently, he gave me the key, I do remember this, that he gave me the key and he's like, hey, you want to put it somewhere? So if you need to lock it so the one-year-old doesn't get in here, like, you know where the key is. So I put the key somewhere, no clue where. Like, absolutely no clue. I remember him giving me the key. I remember us trying the lock and, like, making sure it worked. And then the key, like, I have no memory whatsoever of where I put the key. None. 
Absolutely none. <sighs> so hopefully it'll just turn up at some point. Because, yeah, that's... Anyway, Kendrick did get back in the closet and obviously got the GoPro back out. But, yeah, that was a few hours there where I couldn't even film anything because I didn't even have the GoPro. I'm not great at picking locks. I've never tried to. And so I didn't know what to do because it was like an outdoor lock or whatever. Uh, I think he just used like a kitchen butter knife or something. I'm not sure. So, if you can hear this sound, it's just, it's this fidget spinner thingy that he made me with his 3D printer. Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like the ADHD has been kind of crazy the last few days. Um, I've been super like zoned out and like my brain jumps all over the place and you will probably even notice it in our youtube videos that i am very random sometimes and that's just because probably the ADHD. i'm guessing if i'm a little more stressed out about anything it gets worse and i have been doing therapy recently to work on some stuff and i think maybe just like there's more on my mind and so it makes it even worse but yeah if you don't know what ADHD is it's basically your brain is wired differently and you don't get like the the normal amounts of dopamine um, that most people do it's called like a neurodivergent brain or something and I need to research it more but basically your brain is kind of wired differently and they aren't sure if it's um hereditary or if like sometimes there is like an a version of like adhd not a version but like childhood trauma and some people can bring out some of the same um adhd um what's the word not symptoms but like signs i guess the same actions or the same it looks kind of the same as someone with ADHD. Anyway, so a lot of women actually aren't diagnosed with ADHD until later. And a lot of men or boys are diagnosed when they're still in school, which I find interesting. I don't know why that is. Like, I have no idea. Um... But it definitely got worse like once we got married and I was like you're so close to to one person and and you both like you're like talking a lot and you're living together and you're very aware of what the other person is doing and stuff it became pretty obvious that I either had a concussion at some point or I had ADHD because we would have a conversation I'd have a conversation with my husband and completely not remember it like a minute later and he's still remembering it and I have no idea what we even talked about or what was even said and um, according to my therapist that can either be a concussion or ADHD that, that's kind of like if you're forgetting stuff like that so fast that's kind of like the two options and I've never had a concussion so it kind of narrows it down anyway so yeah talk to my doctor I am on like a non-stimulant medication and I think it does help me to focus I think it does but I actually feel super yucky if I don't take my pill now which is weird because I thought you couldn't get addicted to it but maybe your body gets used to it still and I'm not sure but if I forget to take my pill, it is so obvious. But yeah, it's just stuff like, like also um, another thing is like fidgeting a ton or like not being able to sit still through a movie or through a sermon or th through church. Or um, we c I have like, I have fidgety things and I'm also getting a few stress balls. I ordered on Amazon and I'm also getting these little, um, silicone fingertips to wear when I'm like sitting down reading a book or journaling or something that's when I tend to like scratch or like pick at my arms or like um 
just fidget and I need something in my hands. So if I wear like the fingertip things, um, then then I won't be able to like scratch it because my fingernails will be covered. So that's hopefully that works. And also I have these and I will have stress balls to play with. So I can like, I honestly, sometimes I will even like use these in church. And I feel kind of awkward doing that. Cause I feel like I'm like being like a kid, like I need a toy or something to play with, but that's okay. Because honestly, if I'm if I'm doing something like this, I can focus on the message more. And often, like I take my pill in the morning before church, and so sometimes I will be like super calm and quiet and just be like the whole message. I'll just like be soaking it up and not be fidgeting or anything and not even need really anything. And so yeah, it's you. I never really know if I'm gonna have a really hard time or if. if it's gonna, if I'm gonna feel really calm and like fine. So yeah. Also, I just remembered that it is like, it was like almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I never ate lunch. So there you, that's another thing. <laughs> it's like, you'll like totally forget that eating's a thing. Also, with the pillow I'm on, I'm, I don't have quite the appetite that I used to. I've lost like 10 pounds since Christmas without trying, so. I think, so I take an antidepressant pill at night and that makes me eat more. And, and so I was gaining weight cause I was like, I don't know, that pill is supposed to just make you feel like so much less stressed and like less depressed or less anxiety and then you eat more. But then the pill that I'm on for ADHD, kind of one of the side effects is kind of like you lose your appetite more. And so now I have like, now I'm like losing weight, not like crazy, but like, anyway, so I had both kids here this morning. The, the one year old gets into literally everything. Like I have to be on my toes when he's here because he will like climb on the table and like dump salt and pepper shakers everywhere. He'll climb on the couch and like, I'm scared he's gonna go off the backside. Um, yeah, I just have to keep close tabs on him. And the four-year-old I babysit, um, she likes to hang out. She doesn't like to be by herself playing toys. And so often I'll like be sitting by her and playing with her or like I'll be working on my stuff and she'll be working on her stuff. Or we read stories. We read a couple of stories after lunch today. Yeah, it was fun. It's just for some reason, I don't know if it's because I haven't eaten yet for a while. I had breakfast at like 10. So it's not like I haven't eaten since like eight or something. Um, but I probably should eat something and then my supper will be kind of screwed and then I'll be hungry at like 7 p.m. Ravenous. So my schedule is a little off right now, but anyway, so I had a lot of fun with kids this morning. I'm kind of tired now. I think I just need to go take a long soak in a bath. Oh, one more thing. Toro, our dog. Toro, come here. Come here, baby. Yeah, let me open here. Yeah, let me let me give you cats. Let me give you a hug. Can you shake? Oh sit. Shake. Good boy. I love you. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, no squirrels. No, no. We do not need to go over there and look for squirrels right now. I'm trying to talk to you. Come here. You're supposed to say hi. <laughs> come here. Toro. Toro. Sit, sit, down. Good boy, yes, good boy. Come here, no, come, sit, shake. Good boy, down. Good boy, you're just so distracted. You want to check out the S-Q-U-I-R-R-E-L-S, -R -R -E right? So, I went to the animal clinic here in town today and got some ear cleaner for his ears because well, about a year ago, he had like an ear infection, bacteria buildup problem in his ears, and he ended up having to go on an antibiotic. And um, no, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? So basically, if your dog starts shaking their head a lot or pawing at their ears, 
that means they probably have like an infection and he's doing that right now but I think that might be because I had to squirt that cleaning solution in his ears and like try to clean it out and stuff so basically the next week we're gonna be using the solution in his ears do you see a squirrel do you see a squirrel huh. I don't see one I think you're making that up so the next week I'm just gonna keep close tabs on him every other day or so I'm gonna put the solution in his ears and if in like a week he's still like shaking a lot or pawing at his ears or whatever, twirl, sit, down, down, good boy. Then we're gonna have to take him in and like see if he for real has an infection or whatever. Apparently dogs with like bigger ears, floppier ears are more prone to ear infections. So yeah, keep an eye on your dog. If they're like shaking their heads a lot or like pawing at their ears, it could be an infection. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Yeah, we love you. We love you. Why are you getting white underneath your mouth? That's so sad. Are you getting old? He's only three years old. He's only three. I don't want you to get old. No. I love you so much. He's such a good boy. Yeah, he's such a good boy. Aww. Aww. I love you. Guess what? If you're petting a dog and they like put their paw on you, it means they're trying to pet you too. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? And if I like stop, he definitely is like, hey, good boy. Yes, yeah, see? Aww. Okay. I love you. Okay, go out. Go out. No, no, Toro, go out. He always goes back out to the laundry room a whole lot slower than when I said he could come in here. Because he doesn't want to go back out there. He wants to stay in here and look for squirrels up in the tree out the window. Okay, I should probably go get something to eat, and we're out of grapefruit, but I'm getting more grapefruit tomorrow. Grapefruit's my favorite fruit. I love grapefruit. Um, oh my goodness, did I not even say? Did I say already? My family's coming on Thursday. I'm so excited. They are coming, um, they're probably gonna get here like after afternoon on Thursday because they're coming part way on Wednesday getting a hotel coming part way on Thursday because they live like 11 hours away so that's kind of a big day especially when my younger brother's along they're like oh my little brothers are this is bad 11 and 9 I think so that's gonna be so much fun having them up here. They're gonna be here all day Friday. They're gonna help me babysit. They're so excited to see the kids that I babysit and the kids I babysit, well, the one that understands, the one old enough to understand that they're coming is so excited too. So they will have so much fun. My little brothers do so good with little kids. It is just awesome. Um, they like to read them stories. They like to play with them. They like to hang out with kids. Like, it's really cool. And then Saturday, we're going to go to a museum, and we're just going to hang out. And Kendrick and I are teaching my little brothers how to play Rook. So we're definitely, we were working on it for the first time at Christmas time. And then we're going to, they did play with Mom and Dad, I think, at some point. So they're not going to be, like, they're, they're going to have an idea more now of how to play. So... They're catching on so fast, and it's not an easy game when you're first starting to play. I still, I honestly still make pretty dumb moves sometimes, like if I'm not thinking through it totally. Anyway, and then they'll leave Sunday morning. Um, also, Thrift Books is awesome. Um, I have ordered multiple books from Thrift Books, like the My Bible Friends, um, like kids books and adult books and whatever but my bible friends bo books with like the bible stories those were those bible stories that my parents read to me when i was little and i absolutely love them still so i like to read them to the kids that i babysit and also i have been wanting to get these for so long that i finally ordered them the uncle arthur's bedtime stories those are some really good 
old-fashioned type stories that have really good lessons in them. If you hear this, this is just my little poppet fidget spinner. Um, so I am so excited to get to read those to the kids I babysit and honestly get to read them again myself because it's been so long and it will bring back so many like memories of mom and dad reading them to me and grandma and whatever. Um, you know, something on the floor. And I also got the book, um, The Whole Brain Child by I don't remember who the authors are. I think it's like a husband and wife or if it's not a husband and wife, I can't remember. It's like two different people writing it together, I think. But anyway, apparently it's really, really good about child development. And so that just, fa that stuff fascinates me so much. So I definitely want to read that and like see what they have to say about child development and stuff. And I got some more kids books. I don't remember, but I'm so excited for them to come and that I can read them to the kids. I have I have a good amount of kids books right there. But yeah, you can't you can't have too many books in my opinion. <laughs> um my mom and dad, but my mom especially was like definitely a reader and like went, we went to the library a lot when we were kids. She still takes my brothers obviously to the library a lot and um just definitely encourage us to read a ton and i'm really grateful for that because it's definitely good for your brain i used to read so much like i used to be a way faster reader when i was like in in school but then i left school and i didn't like i was working and i just didn't pick up books as much as i did in school and it kind of makes me sad because i wish i like reading is sort of like a muscle like if you stop reading or don't read nearly as much, it's going to be harder for you to read faster or keep let it keep your attention as much, like your attention span, I don't know. And with the world how it is right now, everyone's attention spans are like worse than a goldfish apparently. So definitely I want to read more and I want to make sure like I'm reading to the kids I babysit might as well get that muscle working again and start reading more and I love reading I really do it's just harder for me to stay focused on it as long as I used to be able to anyway okay I really do need to go eat something and my foot went to sleep it's like all tingly anyway I hope you guys have a great day, and I might do some vlogging tomorrow with the little... So, okay, I am not going to put the kids I babysit on here, just because, and I honestly don't think if we have kids someday, I'm not going to put them on here either, I don't think. I might change my mind, but I don't know. I just feel like they didn't ask to be put on social media, and I don't want everyone recognizing the kids I babysit or my own kids someday or like I'm not gonna put like like obviously it's my choice if I put my face out there but I don't need to put anyone else's face out there without their being them being an adult and have given permission so that's just how I feel about it but what are you doing Tor come here come here come here what do you think? Come here. Come here. Ouch. Oh, my foot went to sleep like crazy. Hey. Oh, you hit your nose. Are you okay? Are you okay? If you would calm down a little bit, you wouldn't run into things. Good boy. Yes, good boy. You're so cute. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Monday evening, it is like, oh man, what time is it? It is almost, it is almost 10 o'clock at night, and usually we're in bed by like 8.30, but we both took like a long nap this afternoon, because neither of us are feeling amazing. I still kind of have a sore throat, no fever or anything, I had a headache earlier today, the headache's gone, so it's just kind of a sore throat. 
And now I'm kind of awake because I took a nap. Well, now he got whatever I got. And because of, um, I don't know, he must be have something else too or got it worse than me or something, but his temperature is like 144. So he needs lots of sleep tonight. Anyway, um, so I am going to do something I haven't done in ages. I'm going to use my loving tan self-tanner tan again tonight which means I have to shower again and like exfoliate all of my skin before I put the tanner on and then you sleep in it and then in the morning you gently just like wash it off you don't like scrub with an exfoliator and you'll take it off but you just gently wash it off um and it usually lasts about a week about a two week mark it's really starting to fade so then you're kind of like if you want to do like to keep it up you do it every like two weeks but I haven't done it for like months I haven't done it since like last October I think so because it's not cheap <laughs> but it's good the loving tan stuff is, is a good self tanner like it works it, it really looks pretty authentic in my opinion we were both planning to sleep like 20 minutes and we like earlier this afternoon and we both set our alarm for 20 minutes because we both ignore the other person's alarm because it's not next to us and we just ignore it. Well, anyway, we apparently, we both laughed and we were like, there's no way we're just going to sleep for 20 minutes. No way. Like, we're both just going to be like out and just want to keep sleeping and that's exactly what happened. He slept for like an hour and I slept for an hour and a half and then we both felt meh because like, if you sleep for like 15 to 30 minutes, it's more like a power nap and you feel re-energized. But if you sleep longer than that, I've heard this, like now you're in more of like a deep sleep and so you're gonna feel meh. 